Yo, what's going on today? I really wanna share a piece of equipment that I got about three months ago. And basically I used that piece of equipment to document a book that I made out of seeded paper and sort of like just threw it in a bucket, threw soil on top and have it grow. So I documented uh, the process of it growing. I posted up the video and a lot of people were asking, you know, what equipment did you use? Because usually, you know, you would use a phone or a GoPro, but you know, it was outside and it was over the course of two months documenting it. So I had to have this special piece of equipment um, or purchase one to actually document that process. Any creative wanting to sort of document a process that takes a long time, you know, days, weeks, months, maybe even a year, you know, it may behoove you to actually uh, invest in a piece of equipment called a time-lapse camera. Looking through a few different brands, uh, Breno I think is a popular one, but I stumbled on a website when I was Googling it and it was basically called time-lapse cameras. And the time-lapse camera that they had available was this one right here. It's, I think it's called the, a fetus or artifice, um, don't kill me on the name. Um, it's a Taiwanese um, brand or it's made in Taiwan. And basically uh, they have a retailer in the US that sells it. So I went on the website and saw that there's two different versions and basically they're under $400 or just hovering just under $400. The one of the versions basically has a fixed lens and the other version basically has a sort of adjustable lens. So you can do macro or micro shot. These cameras last for about, I'd say 80 days. I think the longest you can sort of go is like 80 days, uh, but that's based on how you program uh, the camera and you know, how frequent are you taking a picture? It's powered by four AA batteries. And basically, you know, when you're running out of battery after a month, you can just throw another four in and just, you know, continue that documentation right there. So this camera also uses an app to sort of program everything. So there's not like an interface on here to sort of like program stuff. So you just wirelessly connect to it with this, uh, the Wi-Fi connection that it creates and you're able to program and schedule how you want to sort of document stuff. So you can schedule it for Mondays and Fridays between six and seven, or you can schedule it every day. So you're able to program it however you want to and you're able to see exactly what this sees, so you're able to line it up correctly. It also has a micro USB as well, so you're able to sort of just take footage from it whenever you need to. This uses a mini SD card, so basically, you know, you can actually bump up the actual memory size if you want to. And one thing that I really liked about this camera is that the format of the videos are MP4, which is basically what, you know, social media uses, what a lot of programs use. So it's easy to sort of take video off of this and throw it into sort of an editing program or directly upload it to a social media uh, platform or whatever you want to do. And full disclosure, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by this company or any companies uh, related to it. Basically, a lot of people have been asking the question, you know, how have I been documenting um, that plant growing over the course of a couple of months? And I just wanted to share exactly the tools that I use. And it's great for, you know, like I said, creatives that sort of have a long process or want to document a long process. So I do a lot of murals and I'm gonna start using this for murals as well. Uh, so like a lot of my murals take between a day to a week to sort of put together. Other people take a little bit longer. This thing right here, you can just set up and sort of, you know, press record or, you know, the time-lapse feature and then come back in two weeks when you're finished and, you know, just upload that video because you don't have to do a lot of maintenance on this. It's basically um, just programming it and stepping away from it. So that's why I really like this right here. So a lot of time-lapse cameras like this are used for sort of construction sites or to document things growing or just changing, things that are just really slow. So I wanted to invest in this mainly because like I said, I wasn't able to use a GoPro because they require a lot of batteries and you know extra features just to make it weatherproof. So like this one right here is weatherproof. I can leave this one outside and it can rain, snow, wind, whatever it's not going to get damaged so that's something that was a big plus so hopefully that helped you out in terms of finding out what type of equipment that i have been using to document a long process 
So yeah, so basically, like I said, you don't have to use this at all. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I'll try to upload or just do more videos on some of the other pieces of equipment that I like and use all the time because that can help you out when it comes to sort of figure out what equipment you need to purchase as well. So like I said, I will definitely try to do my best to share that as much as possible. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.